Guess who's back? Presto's back. Um, going over this guy this today. Um, as per most of my Dungeons and Dragons uh, series, we are continuing to rant about the toy industry and how they're doing dumb things. Um, namely, with this this set, um, I want to go over the uh, the whole thing I was saying last time. Um, if you're gonna have an easily completable set. A, show us all of them. B, let us pre-order all of them. And most people will forget and keep the pre-orders. Uh, so there's all his stuff. We will take a look inside here. Um, this is one of those things where there weren't like 18 seasons of this show. It wasn't Thundercats. It wasn't one of the ones where you can like trickle in other characters. I don't even remember a single bad guy from this show, aside from Tiamat, who's in like the 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 first like opening sequence. Like, <laughs> and and I don't think we're gonna get a Haslab Tiamat after seeing the sales on these guys kind of dwindle. Um, they sold really well at first. It was hard to find a lot of them. All you could find was Bobby and Uni, um, maybe Hanks somewhere. Diana, I couldn't. I actually had to hunt for Diana. Um, But yeah, I don't think these sold very well. Um, I think they were maybe five to 10 years late. This is an early, I, I wanna say it's an early 80s property. Uh, it also is not one that's been around a while. So if you're, if you're keeping an eyeball on my channel, I do customs and I'm doing some weird customs coming up. And one of which is the Bionic 6. Um, like, are they gonna come out with a Bionic 6 toy line? No. Uh, well, uh, ramen toys or somebody might. But uh, Bionic 6 has a very limited amount of people who want it. And this is the thing with Dungeons & Dragons. There's a very, very limited people. Because even people who like Dungeons & Dragons, not all of them like the show Dungeons & Dragons. So it's a real weird um, kind of thing. It's like, it's like if you liked Ghostbusters a lot, but you only liked the real Ghostbusters. You didn't like the regular Ghostbusters, because that's a thing too. Um, or extreme Ghostbusters or whatever. Uh, so you can't come out with lines. Uh, I get they probably did some market research on this, but I really feel like this entire line um, was kind of just haphazardly tossed together. And and you'll see that right here. So this was part of the um, plastic free initiative that that uh, that they did at Hasbro, and it was very dumb. So here's Presto. He is a uh, pseudo traffic cone he's not as bad as some of the other ones he comes with a four-sided dice die so it's neat so whatever side's pointing up it's two um so now i've got all the dice the die he comes with a couple of blast effect thingies an extra hat and an extra hair and this extra hair is for his hat head. Um, let's take a look here. Uh, no thigh cut, which is pretty standard for this. And the basic articulation. Looks like he doesn't have double knees even. Uh, somehow Sheila is the best out of all of these. For that. Um, I think Diana might also have double knees. So it's the girls had that. They're all pinless, which is wonderful. Um, let's take a look. You know what? Let's heat him up too, because I don't trust this. I don't trust nothing anymore. He doesn't feel, he feels more like Sheila's quality, not Hank's. So. That'll also make his uh, legs bend a little better. Not that you really need him to bend a lot. Ooh, that makes it real floppy. But yeah, he's he's very limited in articulation here, so that's probably why they went that way out. Let's get his legs pointed right. Okay. He does have a, a weird swivel here. All right, we're gonna heat this head up some more.
Oh, oh, presto. You got a scary head. There we go. I don't like the way that feels. It feels like it's going to rip his head off. So, so I wanted to test it first. Make sure. Uh, you don't have to take his head off, luckily. But this is what it looks like. Um, probably never going to use this hair. Because I prefer to have the... His hat on. Ah! Pop this on. I do like that they're doing this, but I also would prefer just regular head swaps. Um, you save like two little bits, but man, there's got to be more engineering here. And then this pops right on. So there's his pew. Let's put this head aside. He's got... I don't know what this is for. Very strange. And even weirder. I'm gonna take a look here. So it shows that that straps onto his. Oh. That's actually pretty funny. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna give it to these guys this time. That's pretty neat. So he's got two blast effect parts here. You got this one. Um, what that does is it makes. I'm okay. Maybe I will have it with the the, the the other hair. It makes it so you can plug this in here, and it looks like he's conjuring something up from his hat. This one's not as cool as this one. Which plugs in here. And then he literally is like pulling like a uh, something from here. Now this would make you have to hold it here. Because I don't think you could have him hold on to that no matter what. And then this can also snap onto his wrist. This guy's really gummy. So don't worry about that as much. Um, but there you go. <laughs> Uh, you know what, we're going to keep it with his hat on, because as, as neat as this is, that's very rarely going to be used. Um, it actually shows him holding the hat like this, but I don't know how well that's going to... I mean, I guess, I guess this piece will hold it up more than anything. And it does have some ridges there that allow you to clip it on, but that's kind of tedious. So yeah, we're just going to keep him like this. Um... It's that's neat if you want to have it displayed that way. All for it. Just make sure that if you're not, you wrap that thing in some tissue paper, wax paper, something that's not going to fuse to it. And there we go. We've got our Dungeons and Dragons crew. Um, super excited to have all of them. But yeah, Hasbro. Jo John Hasbro, um, Bill Mattel. If you're going to release small groups of people, like Jurassic Park is another one. The, you know why the Amber Collection didn't work? Because he didn't release a bunch of characters at once and we didn't know if we were going to get them all. And we didn't. So that's why we don't want to go, go into these. We want all the characters. Hey, guess what they did for Biker Mice from Mars? They released the three main characters. Now we know. Same with uh, Jada. They released the, um, what do you call that? The Serial Monsters. We know we are getting them all now, so now we want them all. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, comment. And until next time, I'm Alpha Magnus. These are toys.